Yo, 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 peace and richest blessings, sending you all the love, all the good vibes. Welcome back to the Burnout Washburn podcast. It's a beautiful day to be alive. Thank you for investing this time in your personal growth, in your mindset, helping raise the vibration of the collective consciousness out here. I have a beautiful episode for you today, but first I just wanted to say huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters, everyone that's throwing 5, 10, 20 bucks a month to help spread my soul's purpose, to help uplift humanity, to help the good vibrations flow and uh, just get this message out to more people. It means the world to me and I just can't thank you guys enough. So huge thank you to all you guys that are sharing the podcast. The last few episodes, even though they've been many mobile episodes like this one, um, just recording on my iPhone with no equipment, have actually been like the most downloaded episodes yet. So I really appreciate you guys sharing, tuning in. And um, it means the world to me when you're sending me messages, letting me know takeaways, breakthroughs, insights, um, just different things that you're liking from the podcast and from everything that I'm sharing um, that helps me create more content and continue to serve at the uh, best of my ability. So I appreciate those messages. I don't do any uh, like ads or paid marketing type stuff on this podcast yet. So your guys' word of mouth is just helping grow this community, unite this soul tribe, and do lots of great work in the world. So I really appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart means the world. Thank you so much. So today I want to talk about something that I've talked about a little bit before. Um, If not on here, then I've definitely talked about it on my YouTube channel. And that is empowering questions. The quality of our life is directly related to the quality of questions we ask ourselves and ask the universe. And what I've noticed just observing myself and observing human psychology and human behavior is that many of us are programmed to ask super disempowering questions especially when life gets challenging and then we just create uh super disempowering meanings and start to tell disempowering stories and um go down like a bad spiral when we could have gone up, you know, I think I really believe that sometimes when life is the most challenging and a lot of things are happening at once and you're dealing with difficult situations, that's actually some of the best time to springboard and skyrocket your life in a, and use that momentum because all that energy in the universe can be transmuted. You know, you can be an alchemist and turn the lead into gold, turn the negative into the positive and flip that energy into something that's useful And one of the ways that you do that is through asking empowering questions. When life gets hard, a lot of people say disempowering questions and your mind can't help but answer. If you ask your mind a question, it comes up with an answer, even if it's an answer that hurts you. So um, and it's a lot of times you're not consciously answering it, but your subconscious comes up with an answer. So when you start to reframe your questions and just be aware of the questions that you're asking yourself in your own head, like a lot of people, when life gets hard, they say things like, oh, why is this always happening to me? Why does this always happen to me? And then your subconscious mind, you might not answer it right away. Your subconscious mind will come up with an answer and create a disempowering story. Um, when you switch that around and you start to like, you know, say things like, why am I so blessed? Why is my life so good? Your subconscious starts to come up with all these answers of why you're so blessed and why your life is so good. So in this mini episode today, I wanted to provide that reminder and then give you a little empowering question rampage that you can just listen to and you don't have to come up with answers consciously But if you go back and listen to these questions over and over again, like I recommend doing it every day if you can to start to re really, really deeply program these concepts into your subconscious. And over time, your subconscious will just start answering all these questions and you'll start to create empowering stories and new identities and new beliefs that support the best you. So 
when we flip those questions around, I mean, there's so many negative questions that we ask ourselves, you know, like, oh, why does this have to happen right now? Oh, why does this, da 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 why does blah, blah, blah. And, like, any type of, anytime you catch yourself asking a question that has a negative tonality to it, you're going to be creating a disempowering negative story or negative answer in your subconscious. So just start to become aware of that. And anytime you catch yourself, just, you know, ca- give yourself props for catching yourself. Oh, well, I just caught myself asking a super disempowering question. And then don't be mad at yourself for having the disempowered question. Be proud of yourself for catching it. Give yourself that positive reinforcement rather than, like, beating yourself up for doing something wrong. You know, be, um, give yourself praise for... Oh, I just caught myself asking a disempowering question. That means I'm growing. That means I'm reprogramming. That's what's up. Hell yeah. It's a chance to to shift that around and ask some empowering questions. So I want to go on just like a little rampage. I'm out here cleaning my house right now, doing some little feng shui, organizing, decluttering. And I've been keeping my house pretty clean and decluttered so it doesn't take long. Um, and it's cool that I get to record a little podcast while I'm doing this. And I'm, I've sort of been leaning towards like minimalism lately, which I just like not having that much stuff. I like having open space that's free of clutter. And I like having the peace and clarity and all that. And um, I don't like having just like a bunch of stuff to manage and keep track of and clean and all that. I went through today to like declutter because I'm about to be moving. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get rid of everything that's not moving, that's not coming with me in the move. And it was a very small bag. Like, it was, a, like, not even half of a garbage bag full. Like, a small kitchen garbage bag, not even close to half of it full. Because I just, like, I've, I've already been keeping myself decluttered and it feels so nice. It's just so much more clarity, so much more creativity, uh, more inspiration, more flow, more harmony, more room for new blessings to come in. Um, So I have other episodes on feng shui and decluttering and all that. If you want to go check those out, I highly recommend those because sometimes, like, I've had some of the most healing days, and it really is an act of self-love when I'm just, like, cleaning and organizing and decluttering and making my environment nice. It feels really good, and it feels like an act of self-love, an act of self-care, an act from my higher self. And then I always end up like, I can relax better, sleep better, I can create better, I have better ideas flowing, all sorts of things are better when I keep my environment nice. So anyway, that was a total like side topic rant, Um, (laughs) not even related to this episode at all necessarily, but I guess everything's all related. So some empowering questions that we can start to ask ourselves are things like, why is my life so amazing? Why am I so blessed? Why do I feel so good today? And if you, you ask yourself questions like this right when you wake up, that is the best time and right as you're falling asleep. Because when you're first barely waking up in the morning and then right before you drift off to sleep at night, those are the times when you're closest to the subconscious and I believe you're like closest to like source and... Um, I mean, we can get close to those things anytime, but, like, those are the times naturally where our brains are just in the right uh, brainwave state to absorb stuff like that. And whatever we're, like, thinking about before we go to bed is what our subconscious has to go off all night while we're sleeping. So you start to ask yourself, like, super awesome questions, you know, rather than, like, oh, why does so-and-so have to be, like, doing this all the time? And why does da-da-da always happen to me? And... Uh, why do I have to do this tomorrow? You start to reframe everything in positive ways as you're drifting off into sleep. Just, ah, oh, why is this bed so comfy? Ah, oh, why does it feel so good to be alive? Why is tomorrow going to be such a good day? Why is my life so good? Why do I feel so good? Why have I been in such a good mood lately? Ask yourself questions like that as you're drifting off and you'll have amazing dreams. You'll wake up feeling way better than you imagined. It's really powerful. 
And the more you ask yourself these types of questions, the whole your whole mindset starts to shift, your whole stories, because I really believe that uh, we're running these programs, we're running these stories that are determining all of our behavior. We're, all of our behavior is based on who we believe we are and the identity that we have. So in order to shift our behavior, we first have to shift our identity. We first have to shift the mindset. That's why I, I talk about this stuff so much more than like the action and the you know physical steps and things like that because those are important. You got to take the physical action, but you're never, never going to take the right physical action if you don't first have the right story, the right mindset and all that in place. So one of the just helpful ways to start to build a new story and a new identity is just start asking these questions. And I think it honestly works better than some of the I am affirmations. Like I think I am affirmations are amazing. I'm a huge advocate of affirmations. I write them every day. I speak them every day. I have multiple affirmation audios on YouTube and stuff like that. I'm a huge fan of them. But I honestly think the questions can be more empowering because they just work on a deeper subconscious level like that. If I say, like, I am abundant, I am abundant, that might take a long time to, like, for me to actually believe that on a subconscious level because I can consciously look around and see lack or scarcity and thing and see things that kind of, like, contradict that statement of I am abundant. But if I say something that's a little little bit more open-ended, like a question, like, oh, how nice does it feel to be abundant? That's it. Like your subconscious just can't help but like come up with like a slightly different vibration. So I think questions are a little bit better than just the I am affirmation sometimes. I think we should use both. They're both valuable tools. I've just experienced when I started using these questions more and my whole life started getting better and people like Tony Robbins and all sorts of successful people always talk about this like the quality of your life is the quality of your questions and there's a whole book on um, asking called the Aladdin factor that I recommend reading which helped me just get better at asking you know you can just ask for anything you can ask and receive so much help and support if a lot of times like we don't get what we want just because we simply haven't asked for it or we haven't asked enough times or we haven't asked the right person or we haven't asked in the right way. So the, the book Aladdin Factor helped me get more comfortable with asking. It helped me get better at asking. It helped me get better at finding the right people to ask. And it helped me just realize like the power of asking of like, well, I can get so much more in life just by asking for it. Hey, do you know anyone that can do this? Hey, you know, what would it be like? What would it be like to accomplish my three-year goal in the next six months? What would it feel like to receive a massive amounts of money for no reason, just as a gift? Right? You know, like you, there's just so many infinite amounts of questions that you can ask yourself to empower and to come up with new creative ideas and to just expand your consciousness, like... Think about some goal that you're trying to achieve and say, what would, what would this look like if it were easy? What would my schedule be like if I was living my dream life? What would my morning feel like if I was super successful? How would I feel about myself if I really was in the best shape of my life? How would I feel if I had infinite amounts of money flowing in? How would it feel to really be fulfilling my purpose? Or you can bring them into the now, which is even better. How does it feel now that I'm really fulfilling my purpose? How does it feel now that I'm connected to an infinite stream of abundance? How does it feel now that I'm in the best shape of my life? How does it feel now that I'm truly embodying my higher self? Why is my life so amazing? Why do I feel so good lately? Why have I been in such a good mood lately? Why do I just feel so energized and so excited lately? 
all sorts of questions like this can really shift our identity. Really, and you don't have to consciously answer these. This is like more of a subconscious practice where you start to just feel like, oh, your subconscious will start coming up with answers for all of these in the background, even as I'm talking right now. My subconscious is answering all the questions that I just asked. It's like, oh shit, if, you're, if you had... If you, if you were super successful, your morning would feel like this. And you start to just get clarity on, you know, what does my day look like now that I'm fully living my dream? Who do I hang out with now on a regular basis now that I'm fully embodying my higher self? And just, you know, you can journal questions. I really love, I'm a huge advocate of journaling. I think that's one of the most empowering tools that all of us can use to get clarity and to release emotions and to um, create the life of our dreams. You know, just writing things down is so powerful. I'm big on language in general, so I'm big on speaking and writing things into existence. And I think writing down these questions and then writing down the answers can help so much, but sometimes you don't even need to fully write down the answer you can just write down the question and sit there and meditate you know so I like to go up in the mountains and find a nice little chill spot to take my shoes off by the stream soak up the sun and then just start to ask myself questions and then let my mind just kind of wander and ponder on these questions ruminate meditate illuminate um (laughs) making a song out here and I'll just sit there and, and ask myself questions like, for example, one of the hikes that I go on overlooks some very nice homes that I aspire to live in a situation similar to that because I want um, I want to live in a nice home that's like bordering nature where I can like walk out my backyard and be in nature and just be surrounded by mountains and ocean and forests and jungle and animals and plants and all those things. And so I look at these homes and I just say, what does it feel like to live in a home like that? I sit there and just chill for a little bit. My mind starts to come up with images and pictures and emotions. And what we're trying to do is get the brain heart coherence, get our thoughts and our emotions aligned, get our brain and our heart aligned on the same frequency. You know, so if we're thinking a certain thought about like, okay, I want to be abundant or like, you know, I'm thinking a thought of like, I am abundant. Money comes to me easily and I'm intellectually thinking that. But emotionally, I'm feeling like scared about money and like scarcity. and Then I'm contradicting and I'm not in brain heart coherence and I'm not going to be able to create my reality. Because our thoughts are electric and our feelings are magnetic That's how we create reality is through an electromagnetic field. And in order to get the life of our dreams, we have to vibrate our electromagnetic field on the same frequency of that. We don't even create it or attract it. We just become it. You don't get what you want. You get what you are. So in order to be the frequency of your dreams, you have to start to get clear on what it feels like to be living those dreams. And questions are such a uh, powerful way to start to, like, tap into what it really feels like. What does a day in the life of my 60-year-old self look like? What does my dream relationship feel like? What's the chemistry like between me and my soulmate? What is the highest and best use of my time right now? What is trying to emerge through me? What gifts do I have to give? What do I have to share right now? Who can I serve? Who can I give to? Who can I help? What can I do to make this planet a better place? What's the best way to spend my energy today? What do I need to do for myself right now? What's the best thing to focus on right now? 
These are all way better questions than things like, how am I going to pay this bill? Man, what am I going to do? Oh, I don't know how I'm, how I'm going to handle this. How the hell on earth, how am I going to handle this shit? Those are all disempowering questions that we start to ask ourselves when we're feeling down and we're feeling low vibe. Catch yourself. Next time you're feeling low, just start to monitor your thinking and realize, oh, damn, I just went on a streak of asking myself disempowering questions or or even just small questions that are not worthy of, like, really my, my soul's highest purpose. Like, how am I going to pay this bill is not anywhere near on the level of what is trying to emerge through me. How can I serve humanity today? Those are all bigger questions that will actually help you pay the bill faster and easier than, like, how, uh, how on earth am I going to pay for this? So just start to monitor your, think, monitor your inner dialogue and realize when you're asking yourself disempowering questions and switch those around. Play some of these uh, podcast questions over and over again. And I actually, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to record another audio with no talking and explanation, just a, just like a whole rampage of empowering questions. Like, what were this? What would this look like if it were easy? What would it feel like to accomplish my five year goal in two years instead of five years? Who would I need to become in order to manifest my highest vision? What habits do I need to implement in order to get to my dreams? You know, I'll just record this whole audio full of empowering questions and then you can, I'll put it to some like dope music or something and then you'll be able to just go through and listen to that on repeat in the morning, at night, middle of the day, when you're getting ready, when you're driving to work, whatever. And over time, you'll start to shift your identity and just build a whole new uh, set of beliefs and systems and programs that work to serve you and work to elevate your consciousness instead of drag you down. So I just can't express the importance enough of questions. The quality of your life is directly related to the quality of the questions you're asking. And the questions you're asking other people are important too. You know, there's so many opportunities when we're having conversations with people to ask certain questions and you can shift the whole energy of the conversation. You can get access to all the resources and tools and connections you need by asking the right questions. You can get all the support and everything you need. Like, I just barely realized, like, I have, I needed some equipment to record some music that I've been wanting to record and I realized... I remember like reading that Aladdin Factor book and I was like, damn, I haven't even asked anyone. I've just been sitting here kind of not like, you know, I was just like slightly feeling held back. Like I'm not able to take action on certain things because I don't have certain tools to take that action. And I realized, dude, you haven't even asked anyone. You know, if you don't ask, you don't receive and you miss the shots you don't take. So it's like the whole book Aladdin Factor really makes you comfortable on like the fact that you have nothing to lose by asking like if you ask in the right way with sincerity you have nothing to lose and if you you have everything to gain like for me I just asked for this equipment and I knew I had nothing to lose if I ask for the equipment and no one wants to lend me it so the sirens cruising by if no one wants to let me borrow this equipment I'm still in the exact same position that I was before I asked. But if someone does, then boom, I I have a major solution and I can move forward on these goals. Just by typing one sentence on Facebook. You know what I mean? So there's so and there's a right way to ask. So I recommend the Aladdin factor and you want to be providing value and not just taking and taking. But the. We can all tap into our community resources and our soul tribe so much more than we are just if we can get over, like, the ego and the pride and just be willing to ask, you know? I just went online, hey, does anyone have an audio interface and some headphones I can borrow because I'm trying to record some songs while they're fresh? Have, like, eight different people say, yes, I got your back, you know? And now I'm meeting up with the homie after I'm done recording this who's going to let me borrow one. 
And it was just as simple as that. I can move forward on make all this progress in my life by asking one question. And rather than asking, like I for weeks was asking a disempowering question because mine broke and I was saying, why does all my shit always break? Why does all my equipment break? And why is it? Why is it that the cheap stuff, because I like, I tend to buy like some of like the more entry level priced equipment and I'll be like, why does, why does the cheap stuff always fucking go out on me? I should just, I need to start buying the super nice stuff and so I don't have to deal with this. You know, why is all my shit always breaking? So I spent weeks asking disempowering questions when I could have been asking an empowering question or a question that served me like, who has this equipment that I could borrow or I wonder if someone out there has this equipment that they're not using and I could borrow it and provide them some value in exchange and it would be a win-win you know like that's a way better question it's a whole different result in your life so do not underestimate the power of your questions start asking yourself healthier more empowering questions that help you raise your vibration and connect to your higher self and you know shift your whole identity i will uh create that audio that i was mentioning where i just ask a rampage of empowering questions to some dope music and if you're interested in that send me a message letting me know that you listen to this episode and that's how i'll know that you even know about it and i will send you the link to the empowering questions rampage audio video thingy and You'll be able to bump that every day to help the reprogramming and the ascension process. So I love you so much. I really appreciate you guys listening. Huge, huge thank you to the Patreon supporters. Shout out to the Gratitude Gang. Shout out to everyone sharing these. If you got value from this, then there's for sure someone in your friend circle and your tribe that will also get value from this episode. And you can actually help build connection and do them a big service by sharing this episode with them and then you'll be like kind of um blessing me and with some good karma and some good vibes helping spread the message i'm always sharing like different meditations and podcast episodes and things like that that and youtube videos things that help me in my life all if it, if i got value from it I'll, I'll copy and paste the link and i'll text it out to like five or six homies that i think will get value from it too And I honestly feel like that's like my little way of reciprocating the value that I'm getting from these content creators. Because a lot of times it's like there's a lot of people on YouTube that have given me lots of dope content and stuff that I've never really paid a cent to. Or podcast listeners that I've never like, you know, paid money to and they've helped me in my life so much. um, I feel like grateful to be able to share their wisdom and then it helps me and my soul tribe like ascend together and all my homies are kind of like getting on the same wavelength because we're all just sharing this high vibration content with each other so if you got value from this i would really appreciate you sharing the link with like at least one homie or throwing it on your story and tagging me and uh if you haven't checked out the patreon that's just patreon.com slash burnell washburn all the funds from that directly go to help Um, support this message and help the podcast grow help my music grow help me inspire and uplift more people and um, it just helps uh, helps me feel like appreciated and loved and supported and and know that this message is valuable and it inspires me to just keep bringing as much to the table as I possibly can and I keep investing in my mindset and investing in my personal growth so I have more to share with you guys and Everything you guys do to support that just, like, really lights up my heart. And I feel so grateful. I don't expect anything. Um, I'm going to keep doing this stuff regardless. I just I really appreciate anything you guys do. And uh, that all said, I hope you go create an amazing rest of your day. You deserve all the blessings. You deserve to have an amazing life. Get out there and ask yourself some empowering questions. And I'll see you soon on another episode. Peace and blessings.